Welcome back guys. Good morning everyone. It's another beautiful day on the Finca. Scorpio. And today we're in the courtyard. Eventually, we're, we're doing it. We are. <laughs> Look, Look at, at the it. state of knee, it. Knee high grass, grass <laughs> weeds, I don't know what it is, it's got seeds, it's like wheat or something, yeah. tree go. Um, Goaty likes them. So what we're going to do, where do you start, that's the problem. Um, I think we're going to clear the table out of the way, clear the barbecue out of the way. We've lots of big stones on the floor already that we put down just to try and keep the weeds down and stop the cats using it as a litter tray. Yeah. Um, it didn't work too well. So I think we're going to get all the stuff out of the way. What we're going to do, we're going to have a lovely, lovely patio area with massive stones. We've got loads of them. Hopefully we've got enough. Um, and then we're going to have a barbecue, where it is, probably where it is. Um, there's gonna, we're going to put a roof over it of sorts at some point, finances permitting. Um, and then I'm going to build out of an old gas bottle like that, probably a wood burning barbecue as well. Yeah. Um, someone even suggested a smoker, um, but well, not, we'll not run before <laughs> we walk. Um, yes, and so it's going to be like an outdoor kitchen area, lovely seating area with a roof over it, all big stones on the floor, lovely clean, a tidy space. So, let's crack let's on. Let's get on with it. So not only have we got to clear the courtyard, we've got to find where to put the things until um, such time as we can put them back. So I'm thinking of moving the big table to here, because um, this one's not practical for us. It's alright to have a beer at the end of the uh, day, but not practical to eat at. Um, so I think we're going to move this out of the way, get that table down here, um, and then we've got to find a home for the barbecue. But that's in a bit. new temporary place for the barbecue the table is actually quite nice down there um, it's amazing you try things and kind of like them this we contemplated pulling it down at one point um, but we're going to keep it I think we're going to use it as perhaps put the barbecue in in the winter and um, store chairs and stuff we'll put a roof back on it obviously um, but yeah original feature I think we're going to keep that but that's in the future anyway we're just concentrating from here there's already stones on the floor here, just a bit overgrown. Um, just here, going that way. That lovely area. Right, so let's carry on. These are some of the stones we've put down already in the nettles. Watch for scallop enders, ah, caterpillars, all sorts. So we're going to stick these to the side with the others. And we've got things like this. Um, there's one here, there's two more up there. We guess, we don't know where animals used to keep, where they used to live, uh, where they had, I don't know, small animals. Um, you can see it there. So, we don't need them. These will go down as part of our patio. So fairly clear. We've got a fair collection of stones by the generator. This is plus what's outside as well. Stacks of them, so we should have. Plenty hopefully. Right, so it's the time to start strimming. I'm going to do our existing little paved area first and then wade into that lot.
donkey and goatee. And they'll just uh, recycle it for us. Not easy with these stones in the way, but... So that's it. I've cleared as much as I can. It's impossible to pick it all up, obviously. Um, so I'm off to give it to Donkey and Goaty now. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. <laughs> Is that nice? Okay. Let's put it here for you then. I can use a wheelbarrow. Come on then. There you go. We'd have taken him into the courtyard, but um, getting him through the house <laughs> might not be that easy. My well, donkey's coming to pinch it now. He's got yours over there, mate. Well, that's a bit better, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's going to be a superb area. Got a bit of remedial work we probably need to do on the wall we probably should do because we don't want it to fall down do we um but generally um it's pretty much ready yeah to crack on super so the next thing i need to think about is this door um you can see the big thing here hopefully it's, it's quite rotten but hopefully not too rotten to hold that lot up we'll find out in a bit um what i need to do though i need to be able to block it off um, when I've done it, because we have a, a blind cat called Jessie who likes to go for walks and <laughs> she's, yes, it's not the best thing for her really. So, um, I'm going to have a think about that, probably have a spot at lunch and have a think how I'm going to do it. Obviously, ultimately, it's going to be blocked off with a, a door, a big gate. Um, but, yeah, that's not going to happen immediately. Um, it's going to take time because I've got to build it. But I don't know how big I need to build it because I need to figure out a frame. And um, so, yeah, as I say, I'll have a think about it. And while we've got the strimmer out, um, we're going to do this area in front of the, the hayloft apartment um, because it's just a mess and it really needs doing. So much of it needs doing, so we may as well, yeah, we need to get on it. So we're going to do this bit first, as Sharon said the other day. Then another bit over there has got a load of woods and starter wood and things in it. We'll bring that here, then we can do that bit. Then we can get the wood processed and it goes on and on and on. There we go, much better. Um, we can now see the rest of those stones, get them shifted, make it nice and flat because it's a lovely area to sit out in. Lovely. And Sharon's just raking up some more donkey and goat food. They love it. So these stones we can move. These big ones are staying because they're going to make a step out of them up to the apartment so I'm still raking up stuff <laughs> and um, this is the view from there we just turn the other way and they're beautiful you can see for miles and miles and miles over to the nearest towns over there I think what I'm going to do I'm going to see if I can get a bit of this top out somehow just to see have a closer inspection of this and make sure it's not gonna collapse but just get, get the start on it there we go Might have to do it from the other side. Right, okay, it's out. Um, it seems to be all right. It looks a lot better on this side than on this side. Um, there's not much weight above it to be honest. It's a hell of a piece. Um, yeah, so I reckon first thing in the morning um, I'll get this wall. I don't want to do it now because obviously, like I said, with Jesse. Well, first thing in the morning I'll get this down um, and then, yeah, 
look at blocking the hole off. Um, when it's down I might have to put a piece of timber across here as well just to beef it up. Um, I don't know yet but see if it's still there in the morning. Right so next, um, um, these planks used to cover the wine tank in the bodega there and um, I've just checked between all the bits we've got it's all reclaimed basically we should be able to build a big sturdy heavy duty gate out of them um, with them bits for the frame braces and stuff I think I've got it worked out in my head I just wanted to check first that we had enough um, because wood's so expensive at the moment and if we can use all this beautiful old reclaimed stuff which I'm gonna try and plane it down to make it look super beautiful um, but yeah first of all I just wanted to check I've got it up and I have so I'm gonna have a look at planing it down see what it comes up like I know I said not long ago that I was gonna take the, the wall down first um, I've changed my mind I want to try and get all the door and the frame and everything built or at least ready to be built um, and leave that up as long as possible right it didn't fall down overnight it's still standing looking good and um, this is the timber I'm going to use to build the gate out of um, it's what used to cover the, the old tank very very hard worn um, yeah still solid right but um, yeah I'm not going to clean it up too much because um, I do want to retain some of its like original character and that basically just get the top layer of muck off it I think so I'm just going to plane, plane a, a millimetre off it and then give it a quick sand and then um, we'll see what it looks like So if you can see that, that's all, that's after a one light plane. Um, it's very, very difficult because it's quite uneven and um, the knots are that hard. <laughs> it just, the plane just rides over it. But um, we can see wood there, we've got a lot of the rubbish off. And um, we'll give it a quick sand down now and um, see what that looks like, see what it finishes up like. <laughs> You know what? Caught a oil on that. It looked lovely and old. Right, other side. And then I've got five or six more to do, so I'll get on with it. Right, I've just given it a wipe down with a wet cloth, and it's actually drying faster than my new electrics. Uh, it's actually drying faster than I can wet it. It's that that dry, but you get the idea. I think it's going to look fab because that's sort of what it'll look like when it's been oiled. Um, right, so I'll get on, get the rest of them done. I may be some time, but I will be back. In the bedroom today, something a bit different for you. Um, as you can see, we still haven't got our wardrobe sorted. Um, that's a job that definitely needs doing, um, but something we can do in the summer when it's 40 degrees outside and we want to be inside in the cool. Um, this morning, I'm gonna do this shutter. Um, unfortunately, I can only do it from the inside because it's too high for me outside. Um, I have to get Andy on the uh, the extending ladder and I, I don't feel safe so he'll do the outside at a later date but the shutters are pinned back most of the day anyway so it's the inside that gets all the, the weather. Um, so yeah I'll crack on with that. So 
So there's all my uprights. Um, this one at the end, it's got a big split in it. You can make that out from there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip that down because I've got too much width anyway. But I've not got enough height. <laughs> so I've got another piece here which has been cut before. I think, I don't know where, I'm not sure where it's come from. But I'm going to rip this down um, to fix top and bottom to give me the height when I know exactly what it's going to be. So I'll carry on planing and sanding. So we're getting all the parts together slowly. It's quite nice to use it actually. Uh, say it's the original top off the, the wine vat tank in the bodega. So the wood must be 150 years old. It was built around 1870. So it's really, really nice to be able to use it uh, to make something useful from. Anyway, so there's all my uprights and my main door bits. Um, these are going to be my ledges. They're slightly thicker. Um, the a short part of the big beams that the barrels used to sit on. Um, I've got the, the really long length still yet. Don't know what I'm going to do with them at this moment. But for now, um, two should be enough because they're pretty heavy duty. So, I'll carry on. Right, okay, so I've got all my door bits made. Um, but I've got a problem here. Um, this old shoe that you can hardly see at the minute was pre gutters and the water used to run off the roof down here out through this hole that's blocked up to keep it jesse proof here and then down and into the deposit outside all very clever um but um it's, it's it's got a ramp up at that side and of course i want to put a frame in there so i'm debating whether to um build it up just like a little step and leave this hole in because it will be useful just in case we get tons and tons of rain or if we need to pump out the other deposit in an emergency um i think yeah so i think i'm gonna have to take this lot down um sooner rather than later um i've got some bits of board and some fencing mesh <laughs> we could probably bodge it up to keep jesse in in a bit um so yeah, before I can go any further, I think it's going to have to come out. Nah, it's amazing I've had a late lunch, clears your brain. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this for today again. Um, it's already getting on a bit. I'm going to carry on and get all the rest of the wood prepared. I'm going to use this for the frame. Um, let's get it sanded up a bit. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we can get that down, get it built, get the framing, get it all put together in the day. Um, we'll try anyway. Because I, I even need to go and get some hinges and some hardware and stuff like that because I'm completely out of everything. Um, so I'll get these sanded and then go and do a bit of shopping and we'll pick it up in the morning. Okay, so the time has come. Get this lot out of the way. I want to try and stack it as flat as I can on the other side. Um, and hopefully today I'm going to get this out, the framing, the door made and swinging. Um, so the challenge is on and while I'm doing that Sharon's giving the windows their final coat so they'll be done as well hey we're doing well this week Right, so it's done, we're through, and um, we've got a very interested audience behind me. <laughs> right, I'll show you that um, water thing now, and I've decided what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it eventually. So, this is the bit here, this, this, it's a concrete, concrete, I don't know what it is, um, whatever they made is very special. Um, it's like a dish shape, and um, it runs all the way down before they had gutters. It's scooped up here, obviously to steer it through this hole, which I blocked up ages ago uh, to keep Jesse in. 
and she's been very good at the minute she's fast asleep on her bed so I think what I'm gonna do um, fit the door but I'm gonna eventually I think stone this up to that level so there'll be a little step um, going out which then means I can retain this which I'd love to do but it's very old and original um, so right next steps get the frame sorted out and this is the culprit um, look at this she's fast asleep on her bed <laughs> happy days right okay let's get this frame made I'm going to use this to make the two verticals and I'm going to use this for the head it's actually leaving that step in the bottom has actually really helped me a lot and made it a lot easier um, so I'm going to use this for the head it's exactly the same thickness as that but I'm going to obviously it's a little bit wider so I'm going to first I'm going to rip it down the same width as that cut it to my length and then we'll cut the two sides Perfect. Excellent. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my head to the width that I want it and I'm going to cut this to the same width because I'm going to use this across the bottom to stop it splaying if that makes sense. So let's get them cut. Right, so we've just measured the two um, legs, the two sides, and um, get them cut now. So back at the trusty bench in the workshop, um, I'm just going to screw these together now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pile it through the top bit. So I get a good bite on them to pull them together. I'm going to glue them and screw them. And um, the screws I've got are as long as I would have liked. So I'm just going to count and sink them down a little bit as well. So off we go and get the right one. So a couple of pilot holes right through first. Take it off hammer. <laughs> And this side. They're a bit twisted, these legs, um, but they've been outside for a year, um, but we'll sort them out. Right, I'm just going to run a, a slightly bigger one through now to countersink it, and then we'll get them glued and screwed together. So here we go, a bit of glue on him. Ooh. Bit of glue on him there. Bit of glue on him there. Got some screws in it. Get them in the right place. Same on the other side. Next I'm going to put this one across the bottom um, to hold them parallel and then oh, 
I'm going to put a couple of diagonals. I'm going to measure measure across the corners. That way we know it's square. And then put a couple of diagonals on the corners to hold him perfectly square. If that makes sense. First one in. Work, cut my finger. Oh, make sure he's square. Measure him up on the bottom 31 centimeters. 31 centimeters. There we go. Check across the corners and put a couple of diagonals in to put them square. Right, so diagonals in, he's not going anywhere, super rigid. We can now carry it around there and see if we can get it in. We know that we'll have to make a couple of modifications to the to the wall, to the building, um, because it's not straight at all. But we'll have a go. Right, so it's in, absolutely perfect fit. Um, we're just gonna find the wedges now and wedge it in position right so we've got it wedged it's perfectly square for all directions everywhere so what we need to do now is fix it in place and i'm going to use resin anchors into the stonework and um, what we'll do basically is drill a hole through this a bigger hole um, and then drill a hole for the anchor into the stone then put the anchor in and then I'm going to put a metal plate on the front, which I've got to make, um, with a nut that we can crank it all down with. Obviously, where it's not touching the wall, we'll have to um, pack it behind. But it's all sort of temporary because it's all going to be stoned and pointed in anyway. Um, so the first job, I think, is to um, drill these holes on the front for the anchors. Um, and then, yeah, well, yeah, we need to drill the holes for the anchors. Right, so I'm going to put a 19mm hole through um, the timber because I need enough width to get my nozzle to come right through it so it'll go into the wall to inject the resin. So I think we'll have one here. Make sure my bit doesn't hit the stone work. Lovely. Right, I'll carry on and get the others done, decide where I want them. Right, I've got three in. Um, this last one though, is definitely into a piece of marble. So I might have to get a bigger drill out. We'll see. Crikey, he's flying in. It stopped, it must have had a, a bit of something else in there because now it's stopped. Alright, so two batteries and 20 minutes later, we've got about enough, I think. So the next thing we need to do is blow them all out. Make sure they're nice and clean for the resin and stick to them. So I'll get them done. Right, so we're using 8mm threaded rod. And the secret with threaded rod is to put your nuts on first. Because um, when you cut it, it's difficult to get them off on unless you start rounding the ends and cleaning the ends up. So it's just easier to just put them on first. Um, so I'm just going to cut these to length, four in total, and then see if we can get them resin in the wall. I'm just going to stick them in the vise and cut firm with the old angle grinder. Safety glasses engaged. down two to go so here we go sometimes you have to check your resins mixing properly in the nozzle right 
and we do stick it in the hole as far as we can get and keep pumping, start pumping until it starts coming out Okay, and then, literally, just push your rod in. There we go. When the plates are on, it's bolted up, I'm just going to cut these off flush with the nuts. But for now, the first one's in, three more to go. As you can probably guess, this is the end. <laughs> um, we need to let that resin dry before we can crank it up. We're out of time again. I thought I'd get all this done in a day. I'm a We've done well though. Optimist. We've we've cleared the courtyard, the wall's been knocked down, um The frame's in. The frame's in. Um we've planed our pieces of wood to make the gate. We've got our hinges, we've got our bolts. So the windows have had a, and the final coat yep. of oil as well. Those from windows all and the utility are finished now completely. Go for another year. Um, I've moved the rest of the stones from round the back and moved the wood from the other side of the kennel in front of the apartment so we can trim that now. So it's been a good week. Yeah, we've done all right. A few days. So, yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks to all the subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. If you didn't, give us a, an <laughs> unlike, a dislike, is it? Um, it doesn't matter, it all helps the channel. Um, and please feel free to drop any comments um, below. We answer every sort of answerable comment. Um, so, yeah, thanks again, everyone. Yeah. We'll see you on... Thursday. Thursday.